Hi guys, I'm Amy Does Things and I recently spent a lot of money so I'm here so that you can live vicariously through my mistakes. Cyber Monday extended sales. I wanted chunky and lilac. These are so lilac, they're blending in with the background of my room. Because I was really obsessed with all of the Why Are You shoes and all of the shoes on Dolls Kill, but they were all pale pink, which is fine, but not quite as spacey as I like. I wanted to preserve the sort of clumpy, chunky, gothic look of the boots and the really, really cute look of the pink one, but also have it spacey, and I just wanted the same shoes but in lilac. They didn't have any. I got some anyway because they are amazing. But these were eight pounds in the sale, and they are chunky, and they are lilac. And I forgot how bad jelly shoes smelled when you first put them onto the section. Right, now it's time to finally open the big one. A metric but ton of stuff from Dolls Kill, mainly inspired by, by Pixie Locks, who bought the Dancing Queen disco boots. I think that's what they're called, the Why Are You Dolls Kill Boogie Boots. I think that's the name actually. The bag was the one thing I was torn on. It was available in pink and silver. Maybe I should have gone for the silver because I have a lot of pink things already. I do have like my silver skirt, but I also have a pink skirt. In a few days, I'm gonna have three metallic pleated skirts, which is a good state to be in in life, I feel. <sighs> this is so huge. Uh oh. I saw this and I thought, ooh, it's detachable. Ooh, let's make a cool holographic pastel harness out of it. It's not what it's there for, Amy. And I want to do it anyway. Can I make braces out of it? Not really, but. Or like a, a head. Some sort of headdress. My own twisted mind, this could be cool. Especially with like this. Okay, that's a bit. Maybe not. Okay, so this was my first purchase that I unboxed from Dolls Kill. And it if it weren't for the £27 tax for getting it in, which is what it is in the UK, even though postage was free because I spent so much money on Cyber Monday. There was still that duty tax, import tax, whatever it's technically called. I'm just going to attach it. Oh my gosh, it's so holographic. I don't know how long I was doing that there. I think I just entered the quantum realm. What's next? As you can see, it's sparkly and it's silver, which already means that it's the sort of thing that I'd be likely to buy. This one is from Ragged Priest, which is London based, I believe, certainly UK based. And I first found them in the basement of Topshop in London. Is it the Oxford Street top shop? I should know that. I would have just got this from the UK without having to pay extra, but it had sold out on the Ragged Priest website. And Topshop don't stock their downstairs brands online, just in that one store. And the reason I couldn't resist, not because it's silver, because I already have silver skirt. That's not why I had to get it. I don't know what I think. The reason I had to get it was because of its waistband, which is, this is totally see-through, oh my gosh, 
I'm going to have to wear something under this. Look at that. If I hold it up, that's two layers of it that you can see right through. Can you see my face though? Because I can still see like my arms on the computer, even when it's right up to my eyes. I can still see all of that. That's thin. I was not expecting it to be so thin. But I guess it is the sort of thing that lends itself to a petticoat. Also had a little space theme crossbow band. And I thought, yeah, I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I do. Well I was, but then when I got it out it had a sort of tear. Which I can't even find where to it's like from Happy Monday. Which dolls killer actually started selling? Not long after it had already arrived at mine from Happy Monday and after my my spree. I'll open the shoes again. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's seen it now. It's going to be exactly the same style as this top. Black and with the blue modded. So it reminds me of those edible stickers that you used to get on cakes. I don't know if you still do. That is adorable. I need to try this on again. I think I've got some. Oh! I was about to say, I think I've got some shoes. And you've got one of those in a So, so happy? Yeah, so, so happy. I think all of these are a small. Bags one size. I think this top is either small or extra small. This one's a small. Show yourself. Anyway, these I got because I wanted some sort of joggers that I could go out in. Maybe. And I don't know if these are the ones. Or if I'll just be wearing them at home. Either way. Depends really how they look like. These are really cute. They're quite thin, sort of fleecy inside. Pockets, decent sized pockets. They'll fit anything. So three pockets. This one's pretty basic. Pretty cheap in the sale. I think I don't think it has a size at medium. It's sold out and everything else, but I thought it's the sort of thing you can wear a bit oversized in It's not incredibly soft. But this is gonna look so nice with my hair, definitely. Oh, it's a different shape than I was expecting. Oh no, maybe not. I thought it was shorter because it was folded under a little bit and I thought it was sort of like a crop top but scaled up. So quite a short. But no, that's... I don't know, for some reason, I like navy. Obviously like spacey things. And I like things with rolls on. I have this accidentally expensive German goss and gold sweater that I saw on Lookbook. Conscious of how softly I'm speaking, a friend told me the other day that I should do ASMR videos. If you don't know what that is, look it up. I'm so rude today. Just Google it. That, I think, is so cute. I don't think I'm going to be returning or exchanging, but I will probably put this up on my wall.
And yes, I couldn't resist trying this one on too. I like it. I like it a lot. I like both of them. I like them a lot. I like it all. I think I like it. That's all for tonight. I hope you'll leave a like if you liked it or a dislike if you didn't or you're just that kind of person. If you liked it, you can click on the shell bag to subscribe. And if you didn't like it, you may as well subscribe anyway, as the sadomasochistic pleasure derived from watching something you hate is satisfying in itself. Oh god. I didn't know. Pretty cool. So it actually looks and I was not tagged in this, which is good as I'm 5'2 and anything resembling a short joke will get you put on my blacklist.